Hi everyone, this is Janet. I'm here with a uh, quick video. Um, I have been inspired by some of the ladies over at Mini Album Scrap on doing uh, charms. And I've looked at different uh, videos on YouTube on doing charms and also uh, looked at um, Arda Cakes, which I think is very, oh, I just love them. They're they're really nice charms. I'll have to check them out the next time I'm at uh, Michael's. But I thought I'd give it a try. The ladies said to just use what you have at home. And, of course, one of the things that I get when I go to Goodwill or another thrift store is if they have jewelry. And I like to buy it in bulk. Sometimes you can find it in containers or bags or whatever, and they have one price, and they sell it. And I bring it home and see what I can do with it. So I'm going to show you some of the things I've done with my the jewelry and see the different charms that I've made. So let me start with this first one. It's really not a charm, but what I did was I took this old pin that was actually my mother-in-law's, and it's got diamonds, got a little pearl in the center. And I kept thinking, what am I going to do with that? So I like pearl. I like diamonds. But my absolute favorite is pearls. So I just took and I uh, uh, took some pearls and I put them on pins and I made little dangles with pink and white pearls. I thought that would make a cute um, pin to wear on your blouse or a, a coat or whatever. And of course, pink is my favorite color and I do like pearls and I like diamonds. So that's what I did with the jewelry there. I made that one. And then I took some um, odd and end uh, earrings that I had got in one of my uh, bags of jewelry. And I decided to put them together to make a hanging or a dangle type charm. And the, the, this here, this one here, and the, this one here um, are two earrings that I put together. And then I took some other uh, beads that I had and I put them all together to make this dangling charm and I have one that's similar to it because I had those two pair of earrings and I they're slightly different but um, they're in the gold and the uh, black um, beads but this is the earring here and then this one here this one almost looks like a little uh, barrel or whatever and I put those two together I thought they would look those charms would look cute you can put them on your scrapbook or you can put them on a necklace if you wanted to and then one of the things that uh, Articix has is the the door knocker thing with the line on it well I don't have one of those but this is what I found in my jewel box this is actually an earring and I took the back off, and then I hot glued it to this. Um, it's almost like a washer. So that's sort of my version of a, um, a door knocker that you can actually hang on a necklace, attach it to a necklace, or you can put it on a mini album as well. But that's my door knocker charm. It's very mini. And then... Um, in my jewelry box, I also had, this is my own personal jewelry box, I had a set of earrings that are the cameos, and the backings were missing from them. So I went ahead and t attached some uh, jump rings to it, and I put a red ribbon up here, and I made that little charm that could go on. I love cameos. I think they're pretty. And then I took, this is actually... This here is actually three separate earrings. This one had a pearl attached to it, and I took the pearl off because I just wanted the blue part here. And then I had these two dangling earrings that I got in one of my finds at the Goodwill, and they both have blue on them. This is the blue stone, and then this one has a blue stone in this one. And I sort of attached them all together to make a sort of a hanging uh, charm. And you can also attach this to a bracelet or a necklace or whatever you want to do with it. And then here's another one. This is actually an earring. 
it has the crystals and then it has like uh, they're like a brown and amber color uh, beads here and then I just added some of my own amber beads in another one of the washers I added to it to um, to make that charm and then I found this I found these two in my my collection and this was actually has a had a picture on the other side and I covered it up this was an earring and um, it's like a, a burgundy type flower that I just hot glued to this and I thought that could be put on a charm bracelet because it's smaller put that on a little charm bracelet and then I also took this earring and I took the backing off it is like a gold and a pearl with pearls and then I added some more pearls to that and made that that could go on a pearl necklace that would look really cute and this is um I forget what these are called but you see these a lot they're hooked on you can hook them onto book bags or even your purse and that would be good you could even hook some of these charms onto your purse as well and then finally I did this one this is actually a nameplate and it was plain you could do whatever you wanted with it and I found this earring it's the only one I have of this style and it almost looks like a flower you got the diamonds up here and then the flower shape down here and I just took the backing off and I hot glue well no I used the E6000 on this one and I attached it and then put one of those little hook things on there this would be cute on um, a purse or uh, a wallet you can attach it to your wallet if you have the kind with a with a loop on it uh, you can put it on a necklace or even a bracelet so or hang it from a mini album as well but those are the charms that <clears throat> I come up with I'll have to go on the search for more jewelry and other things that I could possibly use to make uh, charms because they can be used in so many different things uh, albums uh, tags um, purses necklaces bracelets I mean the the choices you have are just so many when you make charms and you can custom make them uh, to suit whatever you want to use them for so I, I had fun that's what I did today I took time and I just started pulling things out of my jewelry boxes and some of my drawers in my craft room and I just uh, went ahead and put them together and this is my first attempt so hopefully as I do this more and more maybe I'll get better at it if any of you have any suggestions to help me do a better job I would love your comments I always like to see comments and I appreciate all of them and I appreciate all of you for watching and I want to just thank you for watching have a good have a good evening bye